Uh, just down at Seathworth. Just going to have a walk up to uh, Taylor Guild Force and try and get some photos. It's a route up towards the corridor route towards Dyer Town, but I've never been this actual route, so I'm going to have a look. Just a bit of a, an explore more than anything. Um, but it's been sort of one of the young ladies at uh, Seathworth Farm there, and the pathway normally goes just over there and up. But apparently the bridge has been taken out over the last couple of days so I'm going to have to walk back a little bit to get a bridge further down this road here and cross the, the back there. So I'll bring you back when I get further down. Right, come to the bridge now. See the footpath sign there. I'll follow that down the side that back. See how far I've come from Seathwaite Farm there. So I need to walk back down this path, back along where I'm heading to, just up there. I don't know if you can make it out there, but it ends up really nice with a bit of sunlight coming out onto it. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some photos as the sun gets a bit higher. Lovely morning for it. Starting to chill out a bit now, though. It's starting to get a bit colder on the morning. One of the things I've started liking about not actually chasing the wind rights, I've almost done them, I've only got two to do. But I've started coming out more and sort of having a steady walk out, exploring a bit more to areas I've not been. I'm trying to use the camera a bit more, I've got me drawing in that with us as well today. Uh, but I've just been trying to get a photo of that behind me. A great ending, a bit of early morning sunshine there. Next to nobody out, there's been a couple of cars going down to Seathwaite Farm. But it's a nice stroll out, that's what I'm enjoying, that's what I want to try and do more of. Go to places I've not been in the lakes to be honest. Even though I've been here several times, I've not actually been over this side of the river. And walked up towards uh, Taylor Gill Force. So, I'll see what it's like up there. I'm just enjoying walking along here, see if there's any more photo opportunities as I get further along. I see there's another waterfall there coming down. That's where we parked over there to see the car from here. Some people could cut across where the bridge is out by the looks of it. But the uh, farmer advised me not to. So I went round, it took us an extra mile to get further down the road to cross. But it's starting to get a bit chilly on the morning, so I'd rather keep your feet dry for now. If he's on the way back, I might cross over there and go around that way. so far up. Just had to stop there and try and get some photos of that. See the sun and the hills behind us. Not too sure where how good they'll be but I've got to come out and try these things in practice to try and get the use of the settings and whatever to try and get the best out of my photos. But over this side of the back there's literally nobody. But I don't know if you can see over there there's quite a few groups coming up from Seathwaite, I presume they'll be going up towards, uh, well, I presume they'll be down Scarfell Pike to be honest. Where they go up the corridor route or where they go up towards uh, Great End. So it's a great day for it, it's turned out to be a really nice morning. Soon warmed up. You see the sun starting to make an appearance on top of Seathwaite from there. See where we're going to go up there where these trees are in the middle. Just up there. I did think about going straight towards Dyer Town and maybe he's coming up over onto Seathwaite and coming back down in front of here. There is a path there somewhere but I can't visibly see it but I know there is one on the map. So it's another option. There's also a few other spots I wouldn't mind visiting today down in Keswick so I don't know, I'll just go up here, come back and pop back into Keswick and have a walk around Dale and water a bit, try to get some nice photos of the boats and stuff. Right, come so far up. And I've got the first glimpse in the falls. Do you know if you can see them there? Behind me. Look really nice, so I'll have a walk further and get closer to them. So we get some decent photos. I even put the drone up. But it's uh, the higher the sun gets the better it looks over that way. You can see Glen Cather right over the far side. Looking at these here, 
and I'm trying to make out whether it's not the big crag but just before the crag there's a wall coming down it comes down to where the trees are there I think that's where we come down from Glaramara it's either there or just over this side a bit I think it's just, actually it's, you know, it's here, just beside that gully there coming down towards these trees that was a steep one that really did me knees in <sighs> yeah I've got this rocky section here see the gate at the top got to make it up there get further over I hope we get to see the full force halfway I can't see anybody on them at the moment but the pathway is just over that side there where you go towards Syed Town I made it through the gate there as you can see there, a bit of a scramble up there keep the lines, it's not too bad how nice is that falls up there there's a scramble up here takes you up and across the top towards Syed Town I think I'm going to try and I put the drone up now actually get some photos photos and footage with the drone and I might look and see if there's a pathway to get over from up there get over to where the falls are it's not going to be closer I might be defeating the object there so I haven't got a wide angle lens so we'll see Come up the scramble from the gate. See the gate there. I'm trying to get a better viewpoint of the waterfall. I can't see any paths coming from the right. It looks like there might be a path down. I don't know if you see the herdy at the bottom. It looks like there might be a path that goes up that way, but it's not actually on the map. Now I'll come a bit further up that scramble there. You see, I've got it in the sun now. I can't see any paths coming down from this side, the pathway I'm going scrambling goes up there and around I can't see any paths there so the only one I can think of is the one at the bottom which obviously is not on the map so I've missed that um, but the sun's coming up there now so I'm tempted to wait here for a little while and see if the sun starts coming down on the waterfall itself it'll look really nice with the sun coming onto it well I've just had a look at the map by the map there is a faint path just coming down a bit further over here so I'm going to do this last bit of scrambling here and see if I can go over and down the actual falls hopefully by that time the sun might be a bit higher and down on the falls maybe I'll get some decent pictures a bit lower down but we'll see well I managed to make it down the falls right up on them there but the route I've had to come was up that scree or up that scramble there sorry and across and down this which is really loose so wasn't the best I know now the paths here the pathway out just down straight down there and round so if I ever come again I'll just to stay alone not to go so high I'll sort of try and find a nice vantage spot to get some pictures now if I can well that's Taylorgill Force i try to get some decent pictures but that only even my tripod's about as much as a chocolate fire guard on this sort of stuff so see what they turn out like the ones I have got it's a nice spot, it's somewhere I'll come back to it'll be nice in the winter months when there's a bit of snow laying around and what have you a bit of ice and that so I'm just going to head back down this way just path down and round head back to Safeway well I made it back to the, the main path it was a bit of a nightmare getting from where I was next to the actual waterfalls back over on the main path but I made it I don't know if you can make it out but uh, there's a steady stream of people heading towards uh, Scarfell Pike 
wish there was somewhere a bit easier to cross that side to head over there and I'd have come back down that side but uh, we've got the best or easiest places to get to and cross really when you get the bottom of them falls stay a bit higher up it's quite easy where I was originally um, but that's why I'm coming out to try and explore and like learn these bits a bit like get a bit more used to it so so I'm just going to make my way back down to the car now so there won't be much more filming and doing I don't think unless I come across something interesting and I'm not far from being back to the road to walk back into Seathwaite Farm but I put my coat on it's been uh, raining a little bit I don't know if you can see that but the sun's started coming back through again looks quite nice up there again now but uh, hopefully it'll pass I'm thinking now if I might go down to Keswick and sit half an hour have some dinner <coughs> hopefully see if it passes see if it turns out all right if it not I'll just go home so we'll see and, uh, back at the bridge now the through the gate here and on the road and back to see through farm and unfortunately the rain started again the sun didn't last long and you heard it's in there, field full of bachelors. Don't realise how big the males are. Don't forget when you see them out on the fells. <laughs> <laughs> 